Hello friends, welcome to the series of lectures of Mathematics 1. Myself Hardik Patel from LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. In the last session, we have seen the Fourier series of a continuous function with her period 2 pi. In today's session, we are going to start with a discontinuous function of a sorry Fourier series of a discontinuous function with a period 2 pi. Okay. So first of all, we are starting with a Fourier series with a length 2L that we have already discussed that the Fourier series with an interval C to C plus 2L. The Fourier series is given by fx is equal to a0 by 2 plus sigma n running from 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x upon l plus b n sin n pi x upon l. Where a0 is nothing but it is 1 upon l c2 c plus 2l fx dx. a n is nothing but 1 upon l c2 c plus 2l fx into cos n pi x upon l dx. And b n is nothing but 1 upon l c2 c plus 2l fx into sin n pi x upon l. Okay. Here we have length 2 pi. So l is equal to pi and that will give you the Fourier series in the form of sin nx and cos nx. Now if you have a discontinuous function with the length 2 pi. Suppose you have a function fx is equal to gx for interval c to x0 and hx for interval x0 to c plus 2 pi. That means now your function is dividing into two parts. Suppose here you have any interval c to c plus 2 pi and the, your function is going to be break out from the here and from this point you have the new function this. So in that case you have a two different function. So please remember if you are going with a x0 is a point of a discontinuity. You can have, you may have more than one discontinuous point. Correct? So, one interval c2 c plus 2 pi. So, in that way, case, if you are finding the Fourier coefficients, then it is simply obtained by, we are going with only one example a n. See, your a n is what? 1 upon pi c2 c plus 2 2 pi fx into cos nx dx because now you have a total length 2 pi. So here you have to break your integration at a point x0. From xc to x0, your function is going to be a gx. And from x0 to c plus 2 pi, your function is going to be a hx. So now your a n is going to be reduced in a form of 1 upon pi into the bracket integration from c to c x 0 dx into cos n x dx plus integration from x 0 to c plus 2 pi h x into cos n x dx. Correct? Same manner you can apply for a 0 and b n also. That means you have to separate your integration according to the given intervals. Okay. Now, we are going with a simple deduction property. See, if you are finding the deduction at a point x0 and your function is not continuous, that means it is going to jump from one point to another point. In that case, you have to find out the left hand limit and right hand side limit. Correct? That means you have to find the left hand side value of a function and right hand side value of a function at a point x0 and they may or may not be equal at a point. In that case, please remember then only your function, if they are equal then it is going to be continuous but they are different then it is not continuous function. So in that case if you are finding the value at a point f of x0, then it is given by f of x0 is equal to 1 by 2 f of x0 minus 0 plus f of x0 plus 0. That means this is the left hand side limit and this is the right hand side limit of a function fx at a point x0. Okay. Now, 
we are going on to the example. Find the Fourier series of a periodic square wave function fx is equal to minus k if minus pi less than x less than 0 and has a value k if x is between 0 to pi and f of x plus 2 pi is equal to f of x. That means you have a period 2 pi that is given here. See if it, it is written or not written in both the case you have to assume that the total period is 2 pi. Why? Because see your interval is starting with a minus pi and it is ending to pi. So total length is from minus pi to plus pi. So it will be a 2 pi. Now hence deduce you have to deduce that 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 and so on is equal to pi by 4. So we are starting with a solution. First of all any Fourier series it is given by as fx is equal to a0 by 2 plus sigma n running from 1 to infinity a n cos nx plus b n sin nx. Correct? Where a0 is nothing but 1 upon pi integration from minus pi to plus pi fx dx. Now, you have to break your integration from point 0. So, 1 upon pi into the bracket minus pi to 0. At that time function has a value minus k. So here fx will be minus k into dx plus. Second integration will be from 0 to pi. At that time function has a value k. So you will have integration from 0 to pi k dx. Now integration of minus k is minus kx. And limit is from minus pi to 0. And integration of k is kx. And it has a limit from 0 to pi. Correct. So put the limits that will give 1 upon pi into the bracket 0 minus minus k pi into minus minus k into minus pi that will be a k pi plus k, k into x that will be a k pi minus 0. So if you are going to simplify then minus k pi plus k pi cancel out and the final answer you will get 0. That means A0 has a value 0. Now we are going with a An. An will be 1 upon pi integration from minus pi to plus pi fx into cos nx dx. Correct? So if you are going to break your integration, then first integration is from minus pi to 0. At that time function has a value minus k. So minus k into cos nx dx. Plus second integration is from 0 to pi. At that time function fx is the value k into cos nx dx. Now k is constant. So k common out. And integration of cos that will be a sin nx upon n. And limit is from minus pi to 0. Same manner here k is constant common out cos nx as the integration sin nx upon n. Limit is from 0 to pi. Correct? So put, put the limits that will give you, if you are going to put 0, so sin 0 will be 0, sin minus n pi is also going to be 0. Same manner here, if you are going to put pi, then sin n pi has a value 0 and lower limit sin 0 also has a value 0. That means all the terms are going to be 0 for upper limit as well as for lower limits. So you will have 1 upon pi into 0 minus 0 plus 0 minus 0. And that will give you a n is equal to 0. Now we are going on to b n. So b n will be 1 upon pi. Integration from minus pi to plus pi. F x into sin n x dx. Again you have to break your integration from the point 0. So 1 upon pi into integration from minus pi to 0. At that time function has a value minus k into sin n x dx plus 0 to pi at that time function as the value k into sin nx dx. Correct? So now first integration of this one. So here minus k is constant. Sin has an integration minus cos nx upon n and limit is from minus pi to 0. Same manner here k constant common out. Sin has an integration minus cos nx upon n. And limit is from 0 to 5. Okay. So 
first if you are going to you have to substitute the limits 0 then cos 0 as a value so in simplifying first this term so minus minus will be plus plus minus will be minus and now substitute the limit then cos 0 as a value 1 and cos minus n pi has a value minus 1 raise to n and here again cos n pi has a value minus 1 raise to n and cos 0 has a value 0. So putting those values that will give you here we are going to substitute the values then cos 0 as a value 1 so you will have k into 1 by minus lower limit you have a li minus of a lower limit k into cos minus n pi that will be a cos n pi that will be minus 1 raise to n so minus 1 raise to n upon n plus minus k into the bracket cos n pi has a value minus 1 raise to n so you will have minus 1 raise to n upon n minus of lower limit then put 0 then that will give you minus of k into cos 0 as a value 1 so minus of k into 1 by n okay so now simplify all these terms so that will give you 1 by pi into the bracket k by n minus k into minus 1 raise to n upon n minus k into minus 1 raise to n upon n plus k upon n and if you are going to write down simple form then you will have 1 upon pi 2k upon n minus 2k into minus 1 raise to n upon n. So 2k upon n common out and you will have 2k upon n pi into 1 minus minus 1 raise to n. So this is the value of bn. Once you have the values of a0, a n and bn, then we are going to substitute these values in a Fourier series. So the Fourier series from equation 1 is going to be reduced in a form of fx is equal to sigma a0 by 2 is 0, a n is also 0. So directly you will have sigma n running from 1 to infinity to k by n pi into the bracket minus 1 raise to n minus 1 whole into sin nx. Now if you are going to write this in a simple form then to k upon pi common out and into the sigma you will have 1 minus minus 1 raise to n into sin nx divided by n. Now put n is equal to 1 that will give you 1 minus minus 1 that will be a plus 2 into sin 1x upon 1. If you are going to put 2 then 1 minus 1 that will be 0 into anything will be 0. Then if you are going to put 3 then again you will have this is equal to 2. So you will have 2 into sin 3x by 3. Same manner for 4 this term is 0 and for 5 this term is 2 that will give you 2 into sin 5x divided by 5. So this is the Fourier series for your function. And now this is the simple form of a Fourier series in a series form. Now you have to prove that 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 and so on is equal to pi by 4. Correct? Now we are going to substitute the value. See here you have sin x only and you need alternative sign. Okay. Secondly, you need alternative sign. So what we are going to put? We are going to substitute x is equal to pi by 2. So x is equal to pi by 2 is in interval 0 to pi and in 0 to pi function as a value k. So f pi by 2. So left hand side is your f pi by 2 and that has a value k and in right hand side sin pi by 2 has a value 1, sin 3 pi by 2 has a value minus 1, sin 5 pi by 2 has a value 1, sin 7 pi by 2 will be minus 1 and so on. So you will have k is equal to 4k upon 1 into the bracket 1 by 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 plus dot dot dot. So kk will be cancelled out and cross multiply this term that will give you pi by 4 is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 and so on. Okay. So that proves your deduction. Then these are some practice examples which we have written here. You have to do it in the same manner as we have done the above example. And if you have any query or any doubt regarding this topic, then please feel free to contact me. Thank you so much.